Inflow Inventory Management Software Tutorial for Beginners. Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up and use Inflow Inventory, a powerful inventory management software that helps businesses track stock, manage orders, and streamline inventory operations. To get started, it's completely free. You are going to tap on Try Inflow for free, then from there you can sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Once on this dashboard, the first thing I'm going to be showing you to do is add products. And you're going to go over to the top left hand corner, hover over the plus, then you're going to tap on product. After you have tapped on product from here, you can add the product name. So for example sake, I'm just going to call it first product. So let me type that in real quick. After you have done that, you're going to tap on create. You could also import products by uploading a CSV file if you want. Once you have done that, you can add the product image. You can also add the product description, add measurement, brand, color, and all of the necessary information. By the way, you can also add in the product vendors by tapping on product vendor right there. You will be able to add a product vendor by tapping on add vendor. By scrolling down, you can add the price of the product and you can scroll down and from here you can add remarks if you want and you can also enter the amount that is on hand. Once you're finished doing that, you're just going to tap on save in the top right hand corner and that will be it. So let me close out of this. After you have added the product, another thing that you can do by going over to the top left hand corner, from here you'll see the option customer. You will be able to add customers by tapping on customer. You can enter the customer name or if you would like to import a list of customers that you already have, you can do that by tapping on import customers. And again, if we should go over to the top left hand corner, if it is a case that you would like to create a sales order or a quote, you can do that. So let's say we were to tap on sales order. After tapping on sales order, you'll tap on a customer. After tapping on the customer, you will be redirected to this page. Once on this page, all you'll need to do now, you can see the layout right here. So you could input in the sales rep. So you can add in the sales rep once you have created sales rep, which I will show you to do. And by the way, when it comes on to inflow inventory, you can add numerous warehouses, as you can see with this example right here. So if you have more than one location, this is the perfect platform for you to monitor your inventory. To add the product to the sales order, you will tap on add product. Then you can search for the product by either typing in the product name or by scrolling down. Once you have found the product that you would like to add, you are going to tap on it. Then from there you can see the price and you could also choose to add a discount if you want. And you are just going to tap on save. After you have tapped on save, from there you could choose to print it by tapping on print in the top right hand corner or you can choose to send it via email. Once you are finished creating your sales order, you could go over to the left hand menu option once more and from there if you like to create a quotation you can do that. You can also transfer products from one warehouse to another. As you can see right here, you can choose the warehouse that you would like to transfer it to. Another thing that you can also do, you can do adjustments. So for example, you can choose a warehouse. After you have chosen the warehouse, from there you can choose to add stock or you can choose to remove stock from the warehouse as you can see right there. And you can also create purchase order or purchase quote if you want. And to add vendors, you could select vendor from right here. And if you would like to do a quick stock count, you can tap on count. And then from there, you can enter your stock count. And if we should select the second icon from the top left hand corner, from here, you will be able to see your sales orders, your sales quotes, and your customers. And from the third icon, that will be the inventory icon. From here, you will be able to see your current stock. You can do stock transfers just like what I showed you earlier. And you can also do stock adjustments. And this icon will allow you to view your purchase orders and purchase quotes. And if you would like to view all of your reports, you can tap on the reports icon. And from there, you will be able to see the low stock levels, which is one of the standout features when it comes on to inflow inventory, as it 
automatically tracks your stock and then from there you will be getting a notification whenever you have low stock levels so from there you can tap on inventory and then from there you can view the different reports as you can see right here and to add different locations you'll go over to the bottom left hand corner and you can tap on showroom after you have tapped on showroom from there we could select inventory after selecting inventory you can tap on locations once you have selected locations you can see the locations right here to add a location you'll tap on add location and you can add the different warehouses so you can see some sample warehouses that have been added right there you can also create labels by tapping on create you'll be able to create a label and you can also set up barcodes right here by tapping on manage or if you'd like to buy barcodes you can do that you can also go over to the left hand menu option and from there you can tap on picking orders after you have tapped on picking orders from there you'll be able to set up your picking orders you can also set up units of measurements and so on and if you like to view different integrations you can tap on integrations and then from there you can add different integrations as you can see right here and there are numerous third-party integrations that you can use with this platform and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching